Wabam! It's Jim Jam! How's everybody doing? I'm doing good. I'm currently at work. It's an overnight shift, and I've got nothing fucking better to do than talk about my helmet, which is... Woo! Right here. Who loves show and tell? I sure as fuck do. Over the years, I've seen countless moto vloggers talk about their helmets, set their helmets up for the camera, for other people, show them how to set them up. I figure it's part for the course that I should probably talk about my helmet, so let's bring this bad bitch over. This is a Snell approved, Snell M2015 approved, may I add. I can read the brochure. I'm so fucking cool. Typhoon FF957 is Snell approved, which is what I wanted. The last helmet I had was very shoddy. It was scary sometimes. The fucking foam would move around. The pads would just fucking fall out. It was fucking scary. Very sketch. Very shoddy construction. I didn't buy that helmet. My sister bought me that helmet. She didn't want to spend a ton of money, so she spent 30 bucks. She doesn't know how much she loves me. Whatever. I decided I was going to drop the cash this time for the helmet, so I spent $120 on this bad bitch, got it off of Amazon, and I couldn't be happier. Could not be fucking happier. It is solid, 100%. I don't feel anything shifting around. The padding is very nice. It's very nice, stiff, but soft at the same time. So while it hugs your head to make sure you don't have a fucking aneurysm, it also caresses it like a child, like a little baby. So that's good. The spikes, those motherfuckers, my Darth Molly boys. Oh, that's a fucking bug. I haven't really seen a bunch of helmets with a bunch of spikes in this arrangement. I've seen the Mohawks, but not really in this arrangement. So I decided why not? I'll make it unique. I fucking love me some Darth Maul, so I'll emulate that shit in my helmet. I like to imagine that this is the attention getter. This is what you see in your rear view and you have to look again to wonder what the fuck are those things. Up front, we have a GoPro Hero 5 Blacky Boy with a media kit. And I have fucking GoPro's dumbass $50 fucking proprietary adapter on that bitch. Leading out from that special fucking mic adapter, we have a purple panda lapel mic that is threaded all the way up into the pad and tucked off all needy 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 needy. With it uh, just sort of chilling right there, doing its thing. Just hanging out. It's just doing its fucking thing. Another good thing about this helmet that I don't really need because I don't have a sport bike, I have a cruiser, it's got a little locking mechanism on the bitch. Ooh, lock that fucking visor into place for when you're fucking hauling ass down the fucking highway. Don't want that fucking flying up and getting a bug in your eye at fucking 130 miles an hour. You'll be fucking blind, yo. It's just a little neat feature that I don't need, but it came included. On the side, we got a Lexan B4FM Bluetooth communication device. Ooh, I fucking love this thing so goddamn much. So, as uh, some of you may or may not know, Uncle Jim is a deaf-ass motherfucker, so communicating on a motorcycle with whoever is riding with me or riding on the back of my bike is a pain in the fucking ass. But with this, whenever my wife is riding bitch, she's got hers on her helmet, push the button, and I can talk to her perfectly fine. No more having to fucking trying to hear her through the uh, thick-ass layer of pads, foam, and exterior shell. No more uh, no more of that bullshit. Just push the button and I can hear. Perfectly fine. It's pretty good for sound quality. Um, as far as music goes playing it, I recommend keeping your music down below, like, fucking 40%, because after that it just gets all fucking loud as shit going directly into your ear. Let's talk stickers. Why not talk stickers? Obviously, the most prominent one is that one. This is a thin red line sticker. I'm a fireman. Oh, there was a sticker with a Halligan bar, but not too many people know what a fucking Halligan bar is or even know that, that it's its name. And uh, they probably just wonder, what the fuck is that thing? But I got an X. Pretty recognizable. That's fireman's tool. On the back, we have the Rune of the Disciple from Destiny. I think it fits in pretty good with the helmet. So, fuck it. Plus, that symbol's on fucking everything. It's on my Jeep. It was on my old bike. It's been on multiple cars I've owned. Why the fuck not throw it on there? Shit, I got it tattooed on my fucking body. Sue me, Bungie. Go for it. Uh, don't sue me. Up front, we got two 3 mil stickers from Donut Media. Um, when Donut hit 3 mil, I was more than happy to purchase not one, but two fucking 3 mil stickers. I fucking love the boys over at Donut. If you haven't checked them out, I suggest you go check them out. If you have never seen an up-to-speed video, I highly suggest going to watch an up-to-speed video. It's fucking great. On the sides, we have Honda Wings. Both of them. Um, it was a pain in the ass to get these fucking lined up and fucking, you know, in the same position as 
possible. Uh, but I was pretty fucking good at doing that. I'm going to be uh, blurry for the rest of it, but thank you all for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy the content coming out. It's going to get better. I feel. Uh, editing is getting a lot easier as I get into the... I can't stand myself being unfocused. I got to touch the fucking camera. Editing is getting a little bit better as I get more into the flow of it. First video uploaded in 4K. Fucking Pine Tree Lane. I'm excited. More of those are going to be coming if you enjoy uh, 4K quality footage because... Go oh boy, does that the four to the K? Uh, that's not a K. That's that's nothing in sign language. That's a fucking K. Well, that's that's a fucking K. Is that a K? That's a K in sign language. Pretty sure I'm deaf. I should know these fucking things. But thanks for watching. I'm gonna turn around and cut the video. God damn it! I said cut it. Motherfucker, cut it. Oh yeah, that's me. <laughs>